Hi, I'm Jordan and today we're going to be looking at how humidity affects spraying. So first of all, we're checking the spray booth and we have 30.2% humidity and 22.6 degrees air temperature. And what we're also going to check is the airline temperature and humidity. So currently we have 19.2% humidity through our airline which is going to be lower than the environment we're spraying in because we do have air dryers and so on passing air to our airline and temperature wise is around 18 degrees which may drop down slowly uh, to around 17 degrees so what we've got now is readings of the humidity in both airline and the spray booth now the machine we're going to be using today is a Wacom thermo dry unit and already we can see why with the Wacom thermo dry unit turned on the air temperature is now at 44.8 degrees and the humidity levels is down to 0.2% humidity. So does this machine work and by removing the humidity from the spraying air does this have any benefits? Well what I'm actually doing now is painting a panel with water-based paint. I do know I've not got an air fed at the moment, it's just for testing reasons that we was using this um, so what we're doing is we're applying one full coat of base to the panel and this is currently with the airline with no filtration for the humidity so we're running the standard airline which you normally would do in any body shop and then what we're actually going to do is dry it with the standard airline which is going to be putting through the temperature which we first checked and the standard humidity and then in a second we're going to go ahead and apply base coat using the thermo dry unit which heats the air up and removes the humidity and we're going to see if there's any difference between both temperature and humidity a lot of the guys in the US that I've already spoke to have said that some of them in some states have massive issues with humidity and they know that humidity does affect spraying over here in the UK it's not widely that talked about we don't get very high humidity levels but it you know it is still high in some parts or some times of the year which is this can be beneficial so what we're doing is applying one full coat to this panel and then this is using the airline which is heated and removing the humidity so what we're going to do now is use the fan jet to dry the base coat and this is going to be with 0.2% 0, oh, 0 humidity levels and we're now going to turn the temperature up to around it's going to be around 50 degrees the air that's blowing onto the panel so already we noticed that the air temperature that's coming out of the airline is around 40 to 50 degrees depending on where I can get the infrared thermometer onto it but I do know that the thermo dry unit does help speed up the drying process when drying base coat. This is definitely a positive point. So already during testing, me and Gabe realised that this thermo dry unit is increasing the efficiency of the application of the water-based paint by reducing or eliminating all the humidity and heating that air up. We did notice a difference. And personally, I think it would be beneficial to two businesses that have the unit because I think you would see an increased efficiency throughout your body shop using this daily. We calculated something around an estimated saving of 10 minutes per job and if you was to get 10 jobs in a day that's an hour's saving which could potentially be another job in the booth. So I think there could be definitely a benefit for having this unit and if it ends up getting jobs through quicker and allowing you to get an extra job in it's a bonus. We also noticed that it wasn't only with base coat that the benefits was noticed, it was actually applying both primers, base and clear coats. All three of these stages we actually noticed a difference in drying times or ease of application. So it definitely helps and we definitely noticed that a change in air temperature and humidity made a massive difference. And if we can have a thermo dry unit that keeps our results consistent throughout the application that's a bonus. I was also talking to a few guys over in the US and they did mention that some of the areas that have really high humidity levels 
they actually notice a different when applying clear coats as well. So this is another thing, you know, if we can remove the humidity from the airlines during the application of clear coats, I definitely think there is a benefit there as well. Of course, there will still be environmental humidity, which will be drawn in to the booth from outside. But I think during the spraying and atomization of the paint with the drier air rather than the humid air, I think there is a noticeable difference, and we did notice a slight difference when we was applying the paints here anyway. So the big question is, does humidity affect spraying? Well, yes, it does. And as you may know, the temperature too. We noticed that with higher humidity levels, the base coat taken longer to dry as when there was lower humidity levels. But also the temperature. When we had higher temperature, it was easier to dry the base coat and also easier to apply the clear coats. As some of us may know, when it's cold outside, some clear coats are harder to apply. We got round this by heating the air up, which actually benefited the application of the clear coat. And that's it for this quick video. Make sure you keep an eye out on the channel and subscribe because there will be a few more videos on looking at the thermo dry and some of the benefits and disadvantages to humidity and temperature while spraying. Thanks for watching.